close that back door, don't want no snake shit around me. Circle only getting smaller, built this thing from the ground. Who built this? Me, that's who. Who put all this shit together, bitch? Me, that's who. Who built this? Me, that's who. Who put all this shit together, bitch? Me, that's who. And physically assaulting a woman like that. And that footage was not given to the police immediately. And the reason for that was basically, was not basically, was exactly what Cassie said. My man paid $50,000 to have that footage hidden. And you have to think when a man's got that type of wealth and power, that's why he's able to continue abusing people. Because anyone who gets abused is usually able to be paid off with money. And that's why we have, that's why you got to think about it. This is why I say the Me Too movement is very good. At the same time, it can be bad if misused, but it's very good because it's killing off a lot of people like that who have been able to historically abuse people based off of the position that they sit in. Just talking things raw, just you're seeing him just acting as though he's above the rest of humanity. Mm. Yeah. And the Me Too, t what the Me Too movement has done is, is it's opened that type of floodgate where now nah, you like ain't doing that no more. You like ain't doing that because even people like Jay Z and stuff like that, I'm not saying he's guilty of nothing. I've heard he's been accused of things, but. People talk about this man as though he's like a god or something. And I'm, in my head, I'm like, that's why these guys are able to treat people the way they treat them because people put them above the rest of humanity just because they got a few pounds more and they're able to get away with things like any other man who does that, who's not famous. Exactly. Mark. He's going straight to prison, but because he was able to pay the hotel... That hotel should be sued. And then look, we debate. Why are we even debating online when there's footage like that out there? Come through, no, but this is the point, man. The responsibility comes back to this chain of a hotel or this independent hotel where they've got footage. And as I said, like, come on, you, to, to even like, was it worth the taking fifty thousand pound dollars? Yeah, was it worth it in two thousand sixteen? Let's say the room, you know, they're in LA, so I'm pretty sure he's not staying in no bullshit hotel, right? So we're talking what five, six hundred pound dollars a night or something like that. So they said, okay, but we're only getting like three, four k out of Diddy at the moment for his little stay. He's gonna give us fifty thousand dollars for this damn video. It, it's so short sighted, man. Where's the morals? Where's the where's the where's the duty of care to your damn you know, people who are patronizing your establishment, especially a vulnerable damn woman. It just screams uh, corporate liability or just business liability. Like you, they've got to pay the price as well now. They've got to be named and shamed and they've got to be put through the thing, man, because this is, they're, they're part of covering up the abuse. And let's just say it how it is, the torture of the poor girl. She was abused, that, 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 that there. There were no cameras inside the hotel room. So what happened when she, when the door was shut? After he dragged her back to the something? Was he putting them... She had a black... Apparently that started from him giving a box in her, in her eye and giving her a black eye, right? Yeah. And then she left. Yeah. <laughs> so that was so, abuse on top. And then think about it. The case details. There was another time where she was beaten that bad that he flew her private to the Caribbean and it took her one month to recover. Oh my God. So you have to think now, don't them kind of stories now, you got to look at them stories now and say to yourself, yo, they, they're all true. Because exactly how it was described in the lawsuit is exactly how it was in the video. But again, money is the reason that a man like this has been able to continue and continue and continue. Because if that hotel had integrity back mm. in 20, in 2016 and said, guess what? You can't pay us. We're going to release this. 
they stopped that they stopped the further abuse yes. for eight years of whatever other women that he was abusing. Mm-hmm. And when you hear girls talking certain things and saying certain things that are around him, like that young Miami and people like that. That's just a a sneak peek into the filth <laughs> of what goes on in this man's life. But yeah, he's done, man. And like I said, there's no other punishment. This is even, this, what he's going through now, is worse than any jail sentence you can give him. Because remember, bad boy records, you know, I'm talking, I remember being in primary school when No Way Out album came out. I was in like year three or four. <laughs> like year three or four when the No Way Out album came out. So let me build a picture for you. I'm 37 now. And I remember when this man put out that studio album back then. I remember when Biggie died, Missing You, all of that. Yeah. So what, what I'm that's... trying to get at is my man's built or my man had built a legacy that would have lived on forever. The man built a catalog of music and careers that would have lived on forever. Now he has to sit down and watch that tear down. He has to sit down now and watch that, watch his reputation Watch anyone associated with him. That is worse than any prison sentence you can give a man. He has to sit down and watch what he built. Destroy. Simple. And the only person he can blame is himself. Because for that kind of money, you don't need to, well, you, you don't need, you shouldn't be, and you don't need to abuse anyone. But when you're in the position that he's in, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? <laughs> but you want to be a mob boss. You want to be a mob boss, and this is the problem with hip hop. Let's let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Let's let's widen it up. This is the problem with the culture. This is the problem with the culture. The manufactured culture, Mark. Yeah, the, the manufactured culture. This is the problem with it. A man has been successful, built artist after artist. They would have made mo- they would they would have made multiple documentaries and movies based on his life in years to come. The day he died, social media would have came to a standstill. You know it. But based on you being a freak, a and deviant, want- a, a deviant freak, and wanting to be a gangster, and wanting to be a bad boy, and wanting to be this OG, wanting to be this. This episode is sponsored by Supreme of the UK. Click the link in the description and support the broadcast. You mashed it all up, man. Now you're going to have to sit down and watch that match. Imagine, yo, imagine knowing that, that, imagine knowing that that video is on social media and that's you. (laughs) Imagine, imagine that he's finished and he's got daughters. He's got a mother. He's got all them female fans. He's going to, he's finished. And now there's no more, there is no more barbershop conversation. Any man who puts any defense, even what, even any ifs or buts, yo, you're finished as well. It's done. That's exactly D- This is, the, you know, the beautiful thing about humanity. Yeah, you see now that video released, you know, it's there's no other side of the fence now. There's no other side of the fence. That's it now. It's a fact. It's a proven fact. There's no debating. Where's the red pill community? Where's this? Where's that? There's no debating. There's nothing. It's over. And not and not one soul can put up a defense for this. Not one soul. And you, there's like I said, there's no ifs or buts. There's no, oh, but this. Oh, but that. Nah, man. She was running. She was running, trying to get away. Running for her life, in essence. And my man's gone there, dashed her down. And you got to think, a man's got millions upon millions. And he's probably saying, one phone call, I can get you killed. Yeah, he's done out here, man. He's done out here. He's done. He's done. He's done. He is done. Mark, just before this, I was thinking, I was saying to the Empress, where's the update on um, 
brother No Light, aka Michael Nowak. You know, he's obviously been convicted for this crazy stuff. Blah blah. Where's the update on this shit, man? I'm hearing he's still scamming people, and I'm like, okay, yeah. So this this puff thing, this P Diddy thing. What will come of it? What will come of it? Because we've had all this stuff come out and these content creators have just been eating B, eating, creating all kind of stupid stuff and saying all these kind of things. I'm like, something has to happen. These can't just be put out there for, for, for the reasons of entertainment and people to make money. Like something has to happen. He's, his homes are raided by the FBI and he wasn't even there. These dudes just, just living his best quote unquote best life free as a bird right riding around with, on a bike with um stevie j is it is that that dude's name yeah stevie that, j that, yeah right taking p- people is taking hey puffy let me take some pictures all this stupid stuff and i'm thinking why isn't he um in a penitentiary why ain't the police been had an interview with this dude why isn't he you know, in a marina floating somewhere. Like, why isn't he like, why are they talking about international arrest warrant for Sean P. Diddy because he's gone missing and yo, we need to find him and all this business. And then we have the video being released. But yet, Mark, yeah, we're saying he's finished and all that. But, and the, the news, mainstream news, as you say, are reporting on this here. But what are the policia, FBI, ATF, CIA, you know, local state police, the sheriff's departments. What are they saying about Mr. Sean Combs, a.k.a. Poff? Statue of limitations on that. You know how that goes. So that's that video, it happened too long ago. And he paid to have civilly. the video suppressed. Civilly. Civilly, yeah, civilly. Yeah, civilly. He paid because even with that case... She she can't come out and speak about that video because that's what he paid for as well. So yeah, 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 yeah. it's but what it does though, the beautiful thing about the leakage of a video like that, it stops any we don't know talk. It stops any oh he made that payment, but that's not an admission of guilt. Of guilt, yeah, yeah. yeah. It stops all of that talk. That's what that video does. And that's the power in that video because now it stops all of that talk. It stops all of the unnecessary conversation and just puts the so- the spotlight solely on him. Because when you see a video like that now, the floodgate of questions mm. open. Yes. Okay, so what else was you doing? In it. Okay, so in if it. you can do that and you know that you are can pay and make it disappear, what else did you pay to make it disappear? Oh damn! Not, now those people who are like, "Oh, brother love," and who who are infatuated with that side of the character, the character, they now know. Oh damn! This geezer was pretending. Oh, those rumors were true. So now my man, he can't hide from that now. He can't hide from that. There's no more celebrities now who can say, "Oh, they're tearing down a black man." So it just kills all that talk now. What it does now is, minute by minute, the bad boy legacy is being ripped to shreds. Minute by minute, minute by minute, any of so people that were associated with him, they're going back to questionable video clips. 